Yeah, I remember that I was, I was on live and I was drinking a Corona and I was coming at, at these people that was coming back and forth at me on Twitter. These little raving white kids and shit. They was talking a lot of shit because, you know, a lot of people felt a certain type of way when they saw the documentary of Travis Scott and all his fans were like eating me the fuck up due to the Grammys and shit. So that got me really fucking upset. So that got me really motherfucking upset, right? So I started talking my shit on um on live. And uh, but you know, I spoke to Trav and then I, I just told myself, you know what, I'm not gonna let fans get to me because I I have a good relationship with this guy. And at the end of the day, I, I get how his fans feel. Like, you know, everybody got some hard hardcore dying fans. But then they took a clip of that of they took a clip of that live, right? And I'm about to post it. Let me see if I can post it. Where's the live at? So y'all gonna hear this live, right? Can you hear it? Can y'all motherfuckers hear it? All right, so you're here, right? All right, so that was so that was the live, right? So now you see that part where I say so these these little motherfucking white spoiled kids and everything. So then now these blogs are trying to take that part of that live and try to say that I was cursing out these little ten year olds that supposedly they did a diss record about me and shit. And I was like I wasn't even aware of that video. But since y'all want to bring that shit up, everybody's been coming at me like it's like Cardi, why would you come at these ten year old kids that they did a diss record about you? And it's like first thing first, I wasn't talking about their motherfucking ass. That's one. And when I did hurt the record, I was like, wait a minute. So let's say if I was talking about the little motherfucking kids, right? How the fuck y'all gonna come at me, but y'all not gonna come at the parent that got these motherfucking dumbass kids on fucking Instagram cursing and talking shit about an artist, about an adult, and, and spe especially how you guys are some suburban white boys and you got the fucking nerve to talk about me, about a motherfucking grown woman, Black woman, Hispanic woman, Dominican woman, and then everybody's like, oh, Cardi, like, they try to make that laugh about them, and then the parents have those kids going to, um, a lot of, the, the, the parents been going around hitting up these, uh, these motherfucking, uh, blog pages, like page dumbass six. They reported it. Then you got People Magazine. Then you got all these radio stations reporting it. And it's like, damn. So before y'all blog something, y'all don't do the fucking research. Y'all don't go check out the live on what was it about. Y'all just gonna say that I was talking shit about them. And then the kids are going around doing interviews about it. Like if I was talking about their motherfucking ass. I wasn't talking about y'all. But since y'all was, I'm not even gonna come at y'all. Because y'all some spoiled suburban kids. But because where I'm from, when you talk about adults, their parents get smacked the fuck up. And I find this so disgusting. Disgusting that they motherfucking parents are using them to go on social media, talk shit about adults, not teaching them to be kids. I don't like to tell people about their parenting because I'm a parent myself, but I know better. I know better than to use my kids for clout. How y'all ask parents? Because I, I find out that the, the, the kids' parents, right? The father, he used, he's a, uh, He's, he has a media company, and it's like, so you're using your 10-year-old kids to talk about female, a, a, a rapper, right? Because a lot of rappers, they're not, they're not nice. Like, let's say if you were to talk about, like, a male rapper, like, NBA, young boy, and shit like that, they will violate the shit out of them, and they wouldn't even give a fuck if you kids or not. So, but you're trying to come at me, because, you know, of course, I'm, I'm famous, I get clickbait, ah, ah, ah. Whatever the fuck. And it's like you, you hitting up all these, uh, all these blogs to use your motherfucking kids for your clout. It's disgusting. Like, it's like the song clout, it really goes for everybody because it's so disgusting to me how grown ass folks, parents are using their kids for clout. So you thought it was a good, a good ass motherfucking idea 
to use your kids. Then y'all chopped up a lie about me when I was even talking about your motherfucking kids. And I don't give a fuck if y'all motherfuckers get mad. I'll be damned. I don't care. Y'all gonna use this shit. I don't give a fuck. Some badass motherfucking parents. Spoiled ass little suburban kids. Y'all got the motherfucker. Oh, I know what's funny. Let's go this a grown ass motherfucking woman. And then let's go to the blogs and blah, blah, blah. No. Stop using for kids for clout. That's fucked up. There's people have people like uh like uh artists they have fan bases right they have fan bases so imagine if if my fan base was to talk mad crazy shit about your kids right because they feel of, of offended that you are insulting me their favorite artist it's like you will put your kids to getting dragged for your for your own clout like that's how thirsty y'all motherfuckers are for clout and i wasn't even fucking talking about them but today i'm motherfucking am Today I'm talking about y'all. I wasn't talking about y'all on that first live. Today I'm motherfucking am. And I don't give a fuck. And then these blogs. It's like, y'all so quick to motherfucking... Man, first of all, do you see how the Bahamas is right now? That shit is crazy. But y'all y'all not out there... um, Y'all not out there uh, blogging about important shit like that. Y'all go and fucking say a whole fucking lie about me. Y'all don't even hit up my team. To see if it's true. Y'all don't go, hey, alright, so let's go search up the live. Let's see what she's talking about. No, y'all go and fucking be like, yeah, so we reached out to the whatever the fuck kids. But nah, y'all don't reach out to Cardi to confirm if it's true or not. And I'm just sick of that shit. I'm sick of it. I'm so sick of it. And then every single time that I say something, Cardi's always complaining. What is Cardi complaining about now? Cardi's always getting mad about something. Yeah, because these motherfuckers always got my motherfucking name in my motherfucking mouth while I'm raising my child. I'm raising my child. I'm working. I'm doing good. I'm just trying to live my life. But nah, let's try to find a way to get motherfucking Cardi mad. Well, bitch, now you got me motherfucking mad. Now I'm coming for y'all motherfucking blogs that was popping shit. They don't even don't even bother to see if this shit is real or not. And I'm fucking talking about them ne uh, them neglecting ass parent. I'm not even gonna come at them kids because them kids are some spoiled suburban white kids that they don't motherfucking know how to respect adults that no even better not to come for adults. Because my parents will pop me in my motherfucking mouth. My mom could be arguing with a grown ass adult, and if I say something, my mom would have popped my mouth because it's not a child's place. It's not a child's place. You guys are children. Y'all some motherfucking kids. Stay in your kid's place. Go play something with Legos. Go study. Go read a book. Instead of being motherfucking internet little gangsters. Ah, ah, ah. But it's, but it's not your fault though. It's your parents. Because your parents recorded it. And your parents thought it was cute to put it on social media. And then your parents thought it was cute to go through all my life. And make it seem like I was talking about y'all. And then do interviews about me. Fucked up parents. Because I wouldn't use my child to do some shit like that. I would motherfucking never use my kid for no motherfucking clout. And like I said, I don't like talking about parenting because not every parent is perfect. Not every parent is perfect. I might not be the best parent in the world. I, well, I actually believe that I am. I actually believe that I am. I think I'm a great mother. I don't like telling people about their parenting. But it's like some of y'all, y'all need to control your kids. Control your kids and motherfucking control yourself. Control yourself. Because if I go find out them little kids' names and I also tell my fans, go drag them. Oh, they go to this school, this, this, and that. It was you that put your child in that position. But I'm not going to do that because they kids and they innocent and they motherfucking whatever age they are. But you could have put your parent, your child in that situation because you're so thirsty for chasing motherfucking clout. Stay in a child's fucking place. Stay in a parent's place. You're a motherfucking adult. You're a parent. You're you're somebody um guardian. You forgot that you're somebody guardian for some clout? Really? 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 Imagine if I was petty. I remember when some rapper a couple of years ago gave out uh gave out somebody's address or something right imagine if i was that type of petty person because i didn't thought that you, the little video that your kids did was funny and you got everybody coming for me for something that i didn't even know about 
But now I'm going to come for y'all niggas. Now I am. The uh, motherfucking dacity. And then everybody talking about like, oh my gosh, she was dissing some 10 year olds. I'm like, what the fuck is people talking about? What is people talking about? And I, and then when I see what they're talking about, like for real, I wasn't even talking about them. But then it's getting me mad that y'all going around doing fucking interviews. Like if I was talking about your motherfucking no lip having asses. But and then people want to be mad at me because they thought that I would I responded to them. But my thing is that it's just like so y'all not y'all not mad at the parent, y'all not mad at the parent, y'all not mad at parents that they having their kids talk slick on the motherfucking internet. Y'all not mad at that? No, I don't think that was cute. That's not cute. Like the joke is funny and everything, kiki kiki kiki. But then when I re when I realizing that like the parents are doing it for clout, that y'all out here fucking talking to blogs, trying to make it seem like I was talking about y'all. That's not cute. That's not cute to put your fucking kids doing dumb shit for clout. And I want y'all to record this motherfucking live because every motherfucking thing that I do, y'all twisted the fuck up. So when y'all go twist this live, y'all could say why I was upset. Because y'all always fucking saying some bullshit about me. Like page six. Like OD um, unreliable ass source. Bullshit ass source. People unreliable as fuck. Did you reach out to my team and ask them was Cardi talking about them? No. Did you went to that live? I did that live like five days ago. Did y'all went to that live and see what I was talking about? No. But no, let's report the story about Cardi because everybody always want to make me seem like I'm this fucking terrible, fucked up ass person. So, and then, and then, and then when I fucking address.